It is mid-July uh, and while South Africa uh, deals with the third wave uh, crisis from the pandemic uh, of the coronavirus, we have a bigger crisis unfolding with the uh, wanton looting and destruction of property, the loss of lives, uh, the loss of jobs and livelihoods forever. And every day that this continues, those problems uh, will continue to grow. And sadly, uh, you know, we can blame uh, many factors. We can blame those who are instigating, and, and rightfully so, uh, who are fanning the, 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 the flames uh, of this uh, current crisis and anarchy and destruction, uh, and they need to be dealt with. They need to be uh, arrested, quite frankly. Uh, but, but also, you know, we need to blame our current uh, government who are, are, are missing an action uh, in their decisiveness to quell this, uh, this current destruction and violence. And obviously, the underlying uh, issues related to socio-economic crisis that has been developing since our new democracy that has uh, failed to, uh, where our leadership has failed to address uh, the issues that uh, needed to, to, to take place, to build a robust economy, to, to deal with poverty and, and inequality. Uh, and, and so, <clears throat> You know, if we have a leadership and a government that uh, chooses instead to, 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 to rule in the best interests of, of po politics and politicians and self-interest uh, and, and putting all of that ahead of the country and its people, that gives rise to, to, to the current uh, issues that we have. But now's not the time to blame and throw stones and, 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 or, or for panic. Instead, this is the time for decisive leadership uh, from the top down, by the way, right down to, to our community structures. Um, where we need to defend uh, our livelihood and our properties of everybody, all sectors of society now. Uh, we need to, 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 to put pressure on the state to, to do everything that is necessary to quell this violence and destruction. So, so, so now is the time uh, for cool heads. It, it, it is time to stop feeding the flames of anarchy uh, through the sharing of unsubstantiated and fake news and, and messages of hate, because often these sensationalist messages and pictures that portray the anarchy are generated by those uh, who want the anarchy. And, and, and so by sharing it, we just give them oxygen. At the same time, we cannot put our heads in the sand and ignore these issues, but we need to exercise cautious restraint because believe it or not, the vast majority of South Africans are peaceful and they want law and order. Uh, and it is a small ha handful of people who are wanting to drive this, uh, uh, this, this anarchy uh, for various uh, reasons. So let's not get stuck in debates of blame and stand throwing at this, uh, at this time. Uh, uh, let's, let's resolve this crisis. Our deep-rooted problems are issues that must be dealt with, but, but they're not going to be resolved today. Today, we need to unite. We need to co share our collective positive energy to bring our halts to this crisis uh, and, and, and to not be dragged into this vengeful hate, uh, this vigilante-style conduct, which is only going to fuel the ethnic divisions that play right into the hands of the anarchists. So we call today right now for decisive leadership and for the president to act and to put an end to this absolutely unnecessary crisis and to defend our democracy.